and we're fully live. Hello, everyone. I'm Steve Stewart. I'm the head of communications at Boom Loop Games, and I am joined today by the awesome and lovely Nanna, uh, who is one of our management team members and helps us keep our awesome ship afloat uh, of developers at Dreamloop. And Nanna has no idea what's in store because Nanna has not yet played the Inescapable demo, and we have intentionally kept uh, you know, some things a mystery. So what you'll see today is Nanna's um, actual reaction um, to some of the characters and to the demo of Inescapable. Nanna, would you care to say hello to our lovely viewers over on Steam? Hello. <laughs> yes, hello, hello. Thank you all for joining us. Um, we're about to dive right in shortly, but real quick, I'll introduce the concept of Inescapable. Inescapable, for those of you who don't know, is a hybrid visual novel, and it is, um, you know, essentially a glimpse at human nature. Uh, Eleven individuals have been uh, kidnapped and taken to an abandoned island resort um, where they'll be forced to spend six months. Uh, they're taking part in a twisted reality TV show, um, and... This twisted reality TV show uh, has no rules. Uh, so basically, anything goes on the island. Uh, the laws have been, uh, you know, essentially done away with, and uh, a very uh, small audience is watching them on the dark web. Um, yeah, so very interesting stuff and interesting setup. Um, and we're going to jump right on in here. I also have to quickly monitor the chat just to make sure that nothing uh, horrible is going up uh, or is, no, is going on with the broadcast, but I don't think it should be. Everything looks to be good. Last time we had a little bit of audio issues. Now, however, we'll be able to jump in here and uh, play together uh, properly. Uh, cool. All right. So let's get started. No man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. If a clod be washed away by the sea, Europe is the less, as well as if a promontory were, as well as if a manner of thy friends, or of thine own were. Any man's death diminishes me, because I am involved in mankind, and therefore never send to know for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. John Don. Prepare for trouble and make it double. It's deep. <clears throat> my, my! And what a diverse cast! You'd imagine it's for a basic bitch streaming service! Someone give us a trophy already! Say, sis, what do you think of them? Why? Wanna place a bet on who survives? You don't think. <laughs> Let's not play favorites just yet. Our viewers can choose, and we'll go from there. But we get to use the nukes, right? Maybe later. Ready? Fine! Lights! Camera! Action! Boom! <laughs> so that's a pretty epic intro as far as i'm concerned um mm -hmm. yeah the voice acting in inescapable it, while the game isn't fully voice acted there are multiple hours of uh, voice acted dialogue um and we've got a really interesting uh, cast of, of voice actors uh, who have really done a phenomenal performance um for each of their roles so i think that that's going to be quite exciting yeah that was that was intense and now we open on a bus, and this is Harrison. Harrison is our protagonist, our main character in Inescapable. Uh, and throughout the game, you will actually serve as Harrison's moral compass. Um, and I think that that's an interesting distinction between specifically being Harrison and uh, being Harrison's moral compass, which I think, you know, some folks will uh, maybe be able to uh, appreciate that, that distinction. I see Matthias out there in the chat, our very own Shredding Dragon, who has made uh, many of the tracks uh, used in Inescapable's uh, soundtrack um, and throughout the game, uh, as well as all of our sound design. He's our audio design lead. Really phenomenal uh, work from Matthias. 
um, who has worked in conjunction with Zero Escape's Shinji Hosue, uh, who has, has done some of the main tracks, uh, for example, um, from our OST as well. Um, but let's dive right in. It looks like uh, apparently, Nana, this is crazy. This is crazy. All right, let's kick it off. Oh, I guess I have to use the British accent again. Uh, this is crazy. I've never oh, maybe a Cockney accent would be more appropriate. Oh, I've never been outside the UK before. Okay, maybe not. Uh, I've never been outside the UK before. Unreal. See you there. Keep the surprise secret, Musketeer. Which of the three is organizing this? And which one are we surprising with this reunion? The four Musketeers. <laughs> it's been so long. Too long. I wonder if they read the papers. Uh, I wonder what they think papers. of me now. The papers. Read the papers. Read the papers. Blimey. Don't beat yourself up, Harry. Your friends. You've been friends since you could walk. They'll understand. They won't care. Uh, right? Maybe. They'll just be happy to see you. I wonder if they all have a hand in this. Or maybe one of them. But who? If I knew, I could just drop a text telling them I'm on the bus. Ready to depart. Ready to see all of them again. I really miss Sam's parties. Always bringing the right games. Always with the yummy drinks. Man, he was always going. Never slowing down to think of the consequences. I guess I got over all the trouble he got us in. But without him, there wouldn't be many adventures to remember. He and Nanette were like night and day. Yet they got along great. Nanette has always been a scholar. I wonder what she's doing now. I think calling a scholar musketeer again would make her smile. She'd always protest against her title, saying she didn't like to study. But she loved those detective novels. She was smart, and not just mathematically. I think she was the smartest of us all. I'm certain all of us were just too shy to say it. Heh. <laughs> or maybe a bit envious. I don't think Katie would admit it. Not even now. I think that's the first thing I'll tell her, though. Meaneth boss musketeer, rememberest thou our adventures of old. I think without her, the Musketeers would have never... I should have stood up more. Learned to lead like her. But I was just a boy back then. Anyway, I'm excited to see the past brought back together. One of them is behind this trip. I could text one of them, tell them I'm on the bus heading there. Calculated guess. But I could get it wrong, blow the surprise. Should I? And this is, I think, where things get a little bit interesting. Um, already, uh, you know, the the initial moments, uh, the setup for this, uh, the exposition, as it were, um, all of these things begin to paint a picture of what um, Harrison is like, um, and uh, you know, a bit of his past as well. And then here you have, um, of course, choices, which are very, very critical to the experience in Inescapable. Um, so your choices all matter. Um, and not just, you know, your, we'll say the player's actions matter uh, in a way that they might not quite suspect. Uh, every choice has its own weight and its own gravitas, but there's also um, a good deal of, uh, of importance to the decisions you make. Um, so, Nanna, what should we do? We're going to go with Katie. The boss musketeer. Okay. The boss. That, uh, the boss, like Nanna. The boss. Okay, we'll text Katie. <clears throat> I'm on my way. We need to talk. Finally. This is like the text message no one wants to get. <laughs> like, That's, Harrison, yeah. where's your chill, my G? Um, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, but this also uh, shows another element of the phone. Or, excuse me, another element of the game, <laughs> which is the phone. Um, which has a number of uses, uh, as we'll see throughout uh, the story of Inescapable. Weren't we supposed to depart already? Sitting in the passenger seat for once is nice. This is a Denny for sure, but moda- OMG. OMG. This is like, so awesome. <laughs> okay, she seems excited. I wonder if she's with that big man. 
other tourists, I bet. I wonder if we're going to the same hotel. Oh my god, I love your hair. Oh, she jumped to sit next to that short girl with pigtails. Such a sour face she's making. I'm not a fan of this new acquaintance. The big man's taking a seat at the back. Maybe they weren't together. Oh? They finally closed the doors. I guess we're ready to go. Soon, I'll be with my friends. My true friends. I just hope... Choo-choo. Huh? Gas! What's going on? I... What? What happened? Where am I? It's pitch black. I can't see a thing. My phone! It has a flashlight. Here. Wait. This isn't my phone? And I just want to briefly pause and say, I'm not a voice actor. I'm so sorry for <laughs> what butchery I'm doing here. Um, huge props to our existing cast of voice actors. I am not among them, thank all of the gods. Uh, yeah. But it unlocks with my fingerprint. What's going on? Never mind that. The flashlight. Ah, here we go. I'm... I'm in some sort of metal box. The bus. And the gas. I lost consciousness in that bus. And now I'm in a metal box? I have to get out of here. And now we have uh, one of the more defining visual elements of Inescapable is, um, you know, we have these diorama-esque uh, 3D locations, uh, which will play, of course, a bigger role uh, when you're able to, you know, choose which location you move to or, or, or where you visit and whom to interact with, as well as potentially um, other things like uh, investigations and so forth. Um, but, at least for the moment, uh, one of the things to, to mention um, is that we have this really cool... Uh, acrylic stand style um, which I think a lot of people have, have really appreciated um, and which I think is a pretty cool choice as well for representing uh, players within the environment okay it looks like there's only one thing to do the box opens from this side this must be one of those what did you call them shipping containers the handles not moving what's this a display screen of some sort tap to attempt to unlock it's written on the screen What's going on? There's nothing else I can do. Here it goes, I guess. And some folks, you know, like, uh, for instance, those folks over at, um, I believe it was uh, Noisy Pixel, um, called Inescapable something like Danganronpa uh, meets Zero Escape. And uh, there are some Zero Escape uh, inspired uh, puzzles here um, that we get to kind of mess around with. Uh, to try and unlock this container. Uh oh. Ah. Access granted. Easy. Easy peasy. It sounds like it's open now. Seriously, what have I gotten myself into? Please, whatever is going on. I love the sound and audio design um, in this. It's just hearing the birds and and seeing the the beautiful backgrounds. Uh, yeah, just it makes you feel like you're on a deserted island. So bright, so warm, tropical trees, vines, and bushes. Am I still in Spain? Hey. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Oh, same goes for you. Sorry. I remember her sitting a few rows behind me. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine, I think. You were on that bus, too. Means we're in the same boat. Huh? You and me, we've both been kidnapped. Kidnapped? That makes sense. We didn't get... Whoops. We didn't end up here by ourselves. Someone is behind all this. The shipping container, the gas, and the bus. The bus! I was going to meet my friends! Hey. Look at me. It's okay. The situation is bad, but let's try to stay calm, yeah? My name's Maria, but everyone calls me Mia. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, I'm Harrison. Nice to meet you, Harrison. 
This might be a weird question, but do you have a phone? Uh, I do, but... It's not your own? Uh, yeah, I've never seen this phone before. But it unlocks with your fingerprint? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Moreover, you can't call for help either? Uh, I can't call for help? It appears these phones can't call any numbers. Why give us phones that can't make calls? Why give us phones in the first place? I think we'd better try to find the others. Others? Now that Mia says it, there are several shipping containers nearby. All of them seem to have their doors open. Yeah, seems we're the last two to come out. I believe the rest are here somewhere. The rest? And that was your first flashback. Much nicer than as a, you know, but as far as flashbacks go. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. We all got kidnapped. I think so. The number of the containers match. Looking around, I see one, two, three, eleven mm, shipping containers. So you're going to look for the others. Yeah, you're welcome to tag along. I wouldn't like to go alone. Uh, yeah, sure. Strength in numbers. <laughs> Thank you, Harrison. Where to? I noticed a cleared path when I was looking around. Such There's a, a charming laugh, you know? It says resort in English. I cackle when I laugh, and maybe a little snort. It's not nearly as uh, musical sounding. It's, uh, I mean, you've heard it. So it, um, mostly, you know, very pig-like sounds come from me. Huh? Can you show me? It's no. about 10 meters down the beach. This way. I see footprints in the sand leading to the jungle. Ah, and this shows that, uh, you know, some important things which are to be illustrated come in these cool little Polaroids. Um, it looks like a way to get to the beach and the resort, if we are to believe the sign. Bloody hell, she's quick to check out the scene. The jungle's pretty dense, but it's certainly a beaten path. There's an opening ahead. I can see a... Ah, a pool. And people. OMG, no freaking way. <laughs> Even more people? Party. <laughs> Kidnapping is certainly interesting in this day and age if it <laughs> involves parties. WTF, I didn't mean a literal party, lol. I recognize some of these faces. Even the redhead, she was on the bus. That makes, including Welcome me, 11 to people. Welcome Hotel! My name is Isaac. I am your local guide. Okay. A little, uh, perhaps unhinged, uh, goth fellow. Intriguing. Are you excited for your new adventure? Yes, so I am. We've been abducted, as I suspected. They seem unfazed by this ordeal. Are they victims or enemies? Yeah, they do seem pretty chill in comparison to maybe how I would uh, be feeling had I just been kidnapped. Oh, yes. Hi, but... I'm Ava. You probably totally know me from my Bible meme, lol. <laughs> a meme-based personality yeah, is going to get face, all fast. <laughs> Whoops. It's like meeting a celebrity. <laughs> celebrity. Ragazza. I'm Maria, but do call me Mia. This is Harrison. He was the last one. Huh? No, no, don't put me in the spotlight like that. Uh, spotlight hi. like uh, that. Hi. That's hard to say. Giovanni Lombardi. Pleasure, pleasure. Can't believe this is happening. We're doing abduction intros. Big guy. I remember him from the bus. We told each other our names when we got together. Don't be shy, boyo. Meet the rest. No. Wait, not to be rude, but shouldn't we focus first on what's going on? Why we're here? Who kidnapped us, maybe? All relevant questions, Harrison. Is everyone here against their wishes? And was everyone on the bus? Confirmed. Yeah. Wish they also abducted my bikes, too. Abducted his bikes? What? The bus was probably a setup then. Delia, Harrison. Any contact with who did this? Idea what they want. 
Yeah, I think I would also feel similarly confused. Uh, th this is actually like this particular scene is one that um, I love because it almost feels like every single time I'm about to ask a question, if I click, they ask the question I was thinking of, like which feels remarkably relatable. Not yet. However, once the abductors contact us, I advise everyone to follow along as you are told. Buy time, but do not resist. What? No, we should. We should do what the police would do. Fight back. I, I, I think. She seems weirdly collected. How can these people be so calm? Paid actors? Please, please, please. I want to go home. This can't be happening to me. I can't be the only one who's freaking out. I didn't catch your name, Miss. Valérie d'Orléans. My pleasure. Valérie d'Orléans. No <laughs> need. Oh, hi. I forgot I'm done. S sorry, a bit frazzled. <laughs> Not well. Man, the voice acting just, it gets me every time I listen to it. Uh, and Don doing that line always makes me grin for whatever reason. <laughs> you forgot you're Don. Hey, no worries. I sometimes forget I'm Mia. What? I think she's trying to cheer him up. I can't shake how weird it is that everyone's kind of calm. But I guess I don't know how much time has passed between each container opening and this gathering. <laughs> nah, name's Don. I'm Don. Yeah. Lumi. Vulgarement interrompu. I was not done talking. Pardon her French. But, uh. Sorry. Annie is Annika. Annie is a bit scared. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> exactly what I was about to ask. <laughs> um, excuse me? Yeah? Annie just shared that Annie is Annika. Annie is from Sweden. Annie is 20 soon. Annie likes Fika and Gordis. Piach uh, actually did a really awesome cosplay of this uh, recently, uh, and we shared some uh, pictures of it on our Twitter. Um, so you should check that out. It's one of our first cosplays from Inescapable, and I think it was really, really incredible quality. Um, and she really breathed life into the, the Annika character. Uh, are you all right? Why are you... Exactly. <laughs> Again, exactly what I was going to ask. Uh, are you all right? <laughs> mm, she was like that when I got here. I didn't break her, lol. One could only guess why the woman refers to herself in the third person. Intriguing, however. Something I could adopt myself. Isaac likes the grandeur of it. I I'm not surprised. Uh, okay. Um, what about you two? She's pointing at the grumpy-looking woman and the short uh guy. I don't remember them on the bus, but maybe they were there too. I wonder if that's relevant to the plot moving forward. Francisca. To be clear, I don't know. Francisca. No, I'm not. That's not a hint. This is Hunter, kind of weird person doesn't like fries. You'll get used to that, trust me. Uh, who's Hunter? They told me their name's Dick. It's both. Dick, Hunter? Oh, already calling me names? Dick move if you ask me, Blondie. <laughs> Miss, that's not what I meant. Pranks in this situation? How demented. Another thing that you'll notice is, of course, um... As you can probably tell by the accents in Inescapable, uh, many of these characters, or perhaps all of these characters, are from around different locations in Europe. Uh, so not your typical uh, Japanese high school setting uh, for, you know, um, a, well, a game of this type, we'll say. Um, but one of the things that that means is that you'll often hear, as uh, Valerie shared, um, and as... Um, Mia has now shared, uh, is that you'll hear often different... Oh, and I guess also Giovanni, now that I think about it. You'll hear different um, languages and things like that, different expressions um, that are pretty authentic uh, to their country of origin. Who should we call you then? Yelling works. My hearing's kind of bad, so 
Don't whisper. Valyamu Deus, name. Give <laughs> real name. Why so hard? Because got to win in the bus. Thinks he's neither girl nor boy. I call him boy. He looks boy. Agenda. In this economy. Tch. Boomer. I don't understand. Uh, Mr. Swiftgram, they just don't want to be stereotyped. What's so effing hard? Oh, they're non-binary. Token character. Although, come to think of it, all these people seem a bit odd. That Swedish girl is in a maid outfit like she's at some con. This dude's wearing a sporty suit. Yep. Can't be arsed with stereotypes and expectations. Now I'm curious if they're a boy or a girl. But I guess that defeats the point. I shouldn't really think like that. They're they. Now you're catching on, Harrison. Can you give us a name, please? Huh? Ringing. No name. The phone. Rather, everyone's phones are ringing. This must be the abductors. There is indicated. Follow the instructions. I just want to show some appreciation for the song being the ringtone. Uh, mm -hmm. This is uh, this is a fun little Easter egg. If someone in chat can uh, figure out where this song is from, I think um, yeah, you're you're gonna appreciate that. This must be the abductors. Do as indicated. Follow their instructions. Got it. Oh no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! They're all answering their phones. I guess I'm answering too. Good day, everyone. I am Naima, one of the producers, and I am here to answer some of your questions. This song is so damn sick. I mean, <laughs> it's mm -hmm. uh, like because uh, you know I'm a member of the development team. It almost feels weird to like discuss, <laughs> like like to just show appreciation for these elements. Like, but. You know, obviously, the nature of my role is, like, very communications-oriented, so, like, it, it, I don't feel as connected, like, oh, I didn't work on that thing specifically. I get to look at this as, uh, you know, a totality and get to really appreciate and love the art and the sound and the visual design and all of these different elements, um, and it's so cool to see them all come together. Um, and this song in particular is Chef's Kiss. Did you actually kidnap us? WTF? Where are we? What do you want with us? Uh, I've got some questions too. Please, one at a time. Settle down and don't talk over each other. I did prepare an intro speech. I would not like it to go to waste. Let's look at the big picture, shall we? You lucky few have been chosen from among many people we've been shadowing. That's another thing you could do is, of course, you could turn off the UI if you want to get a better look at um, the different character art and stuff like that. Um, and this shows our whole cast now assembled and uh, their various character designs on full display. Thus far, Nana, do you have a favorite? Of course I do. Uh, I'm going to guess Annika. <laughs> <clears throat> Valerie? Ah. Mm. Uh. You know, I think I have to go with, if I, I think I might have to go with Eva as my favorite. Yeah, it's Isaac and Eva, definitely. Oh, and they do have complementary colors, which is, I mean, this is more pink, but there's red in there too. You lucky few have been chosen from among many people we've been shadowing. I don't know why I read that as Harrison. Let's, lucky few. Location is tropical paradise. As you've already noticed, you are in a resort. We'll go over the facilities later. You'll be participating in a show. Because of its nature, your participation is involuntary. Hence the kidnapping! You got it? That we'll explains it. To show human nature unrestrained by laws and regulations. Imagine that one time when you wished you could have just punched someone? Now you can! Yoni made a really good point uh, the other day. He was like, I think a lot of people at this point have already chosen a person they would like to punch. <laughs> Even though you're only like, you know, uh, maybe 20 minutes in. Our viewers on the internet will observe you over the course of the next six months. The current date is September 15th, 2017. Your phones are accurate. March 11th of 2018 is your last day on this island. So that means for half a year, you're stuck here with no rules. You can do whatever the fuck you want. 
I can already give you some ideas. I would like to hear those ideas. <laughs> this mm -hmm. is totally not the kind of show I was promised. Like, breach up contract. I can't do this. I have a competition to attend to. Half a year. No, please. I have siblings I must take care of. <laughs> okay, got it. I'm uh, not quite sure what that... You only mentioned, I think, what that one means to me previously, but I, uh... What is it? Uh, yeah, I think it just means something angry and bad. Chaos, again. Can't blame them for yelling for answers. Maybe I should ask something, too. When this moment in the song oh, hits, great. I love it. Yeah, absolutely. And such an incredible performance. Five hundred K. That's my salary for twenty years. But alive? I can't make videos, Dad. You're crazy if you think we'd kill just for five hundred K. That's another element that uh, Yoni and I discussed last time. Was at this point, no one has mentioned you killing anybody, Gio. Hmm. Well, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Are worth more than 500k, as you are undoubtedly aware. I would like to purchase our liberation for 750k per head. Your liberation will occur at the end of the six months, Miss Diorio. What you do on the island, however, is up to you. Our job is to make the show interesting. If you manage to entertain the audience, there won't be any need for us to intervene. Views go up, you get rewarded. We might double the money or offer free therapy for life. B, it ain't that bad. There has to be a catch to all of this. Is it even worth losing six months of my life? And intervention would involve blackmail? You might not have rules, but we still want to make it worth it for the viewers. There will be no videotapes to drive you, but we encourage unlawful behavior. Our intervention depends on the magnitude of your non-participation. To be discussed later. We hope it won't happen with so many opportunities available. Speaking of intervention, you will be delivered supplies via airdrop. Food goods, entertainment, all that stuff! Play dirty and we'll even give you luxury shit! This is your chance to be over the top and win big! With no fuckery from the law! That's another important point, is of course that this is being broadcast on the dark web. Uh, so, to ostensibly, to a very private clientele who can afford to uh, finance this top type of operation. Or at least that's my guess. Assured, my lawyers will hear of this as soon as I escape. <laughs> I'll be waiting. Meanwhile, if I can direct your attention to the hotel behind you, we'll now go over the resource facilities and what you can find on the island. That's a pretty gangster ass response from Naima. Just kind of like, I'll be waiting. Oh, Ami has a few questions. I would like to inquire about a few things too. Yeah, questions. Well, what's kind of funny about this is like, Don comes across like, you know, um, maybe a, I'll just say it outright, maybe a bit dumb. But how is it really <laughs> any different than what than what uh, was said by Lumi? You know, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's more or less the same thing. Just different ways of saying that. A lot of, like, streamers and stuff have been like, oh, Don, you're so dumb about this. And then it's like, wait, but, like, Lumi just said the same thing in a smarter-sounding fashion. Blah, 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 you've got six months, big and wait. Result, then maybe we'll add some more stuff. Maybe. I love her. So savage. Your phones will be crucial for the next six months, not just for calling each other. Yeah, this is an important point, I think, uh, that kind of sets up one of the key mechanics of the game is the, you know, uh, the phone. And the phone is used for a lot of different stuff. Um, it's quite intriguing uh, mechanically. Um, yeah. I suggest you keep them charged and in good condition. 
Because that's how we keep in touch with all that jazz. That and all the cameras. I've noticed a few cameras here and there myself, but now that they mention it, feels like there's one in every corner. Remember to smile. And if you have any plans to be interesting, please be in good view. And yes, there are cameras in the jungle. For now, no phone entertainment. Get to know each other first. Naomi and Naima sound like they're the Again, two sides of the same person. That's... <laughs> I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Naomi and Naima have the same voice actress. Or voice actor. Uh, and I think that, as sisters, they have... Um, they do have a little bit of this kind of, like, fire and ice uh, component to them. One is, you know, obviously, like, this more grounded, uh, practical personality, and the other is more, uh, like, way over the top. It's like fury and cunning, you know, like, uh, paired together. So that's a pretty good read. You also need the phone to open your room. Not only to enter, but also exit. That's how we ensure you don't leave your phone inside. You'll find shared toilets, the hotel and the restaurant, and in an undisclosed room. Shared toilets at the hotel, in the restaurant, and in an undisclosed room. I'm still so confused by this in terms of, like, there's just a, some random room somewhere, undisclosed, that has a toilet in it. Like, what are we... <laughs> toilets? You've gotta be shitting me! What about showers? The shower room is shared and does not require phone access. There are also showers by the pool and in an undisclosed room. What? Shared showers? Toads agree. Absolutely barbaric. Yeah, Annie has a lot to clean. Weird. <laughs> a little, uh... Well... So, they're talking about toilets and she wants to clean. Yeah, she's, uh, and she seems excited by the prospect. Sure. Rooms are in the restaurant or bar and the kitchen. More will unlock later. The restaurant fits everyone comfortably and offers dining tables. You'll find the kitchen already equipped for more than two weeks. And if this fed, rest later! You break the doors, we break you! That means you're not gonna damage any of the equipment to fuck with the show! So no dusting cameras either! You do that and you get no food and starve! You die! No rules, I believe you that. Said. No rules. For yeah. To behave in the group and no laws to hold you back. But this is still a show. We need functional equipment. Don't mess with the production. If one of you fucks around, everyone pays the price. Pardon me. I want to ask about the infrastructure. Is the water drinkable? What can you tell us about the pipeline and electricity? Sounds like you're planning to stay. <laughs> Clever. No, the water is not drinkable. If you run out of bottled water, you must boil it. We would also need a filter. Uh, electricity is the air generator, and you'll be getting fuel for it. Any other questions? I may be least. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to ask what with, but he wrote it on the phone. It had better be about facilities and not some other shit. Can we negotiate, please? I have a family. You're not the only one! We're more than willing to make deals, but none can involve your escape. But if you're telling us you'll beat someone for 10k, we'll consider it! Our families will find out we're kidnapped. Justice will be done! Of that I too, I'm certain. You cannot kidnap me and go unnoticed. We are aware. I suggest you enjoy the resort for the next few months. This is also another gangster-ass line from Naima. Is like, you know, uh, Valerie says, you cannot kidnap me and go unnoticed. And Nymus just like, yeah, uh, I already thought of that. <laughs> it's like the feeling that I get. Nobody will come to save you. Nobody will hear you. Nobody will know where you are. Welcome to Inescapable. I feel like I'm going to puke, I have a panic attack. This isn't real. This can't be real. I'm a lab rat for some sick fucks who want to see us kill each other. Mum, Dad, please help me. I can't breathe, I can't- Harvey, it's going to be fine. Look at me. This can't it's be real. It's a situation, but we're alive and relatively well. We will manage. See, si, see. Si. 
Bad, but we will manage. They said they'll provide food and take care of us. All we need to do is take a vacation for six months. Could be worse. Thanks, guys. Do what you want as long as you make this interesting. My welcome gift to you all are some pieces of information to start conversations with. Be sure to check those out on your phones at your earliest convenience. We might provide more information the more you provide our viewers with entertainment. Mm. Don't go messaging us daily! We've got a job to do! <laughs> Message each other! Audios! Have a good day. They're gone. I wish was, this was the point where I'd wake up. If only I was a necromancer to grow you a spine, Harrison. Wait a moment. Ooh. Did he read his mind? <clears> hmm, <throat> yeah. <laughs> like, wait a second, what? Oh no, okay, so he has the... He has the moment where he's freaking out, and apparently that's obvious, yeah. I guess. I, I, I totally was just like, wait a second. He, he's talking about necromancy. Maybe he's a, he's a mind reader as well. This is an opportunity to experience something almost nobody else can. Embrace it. Yeah, he's a fucking lunatic. <laughs> like it. <laughs> However, I think the experience can wait. I personally feel exhausted after that gas. Yeah, my whole body aches, and I still feel kind of nauseous. Ami thinks we can meet in the morning. Ami will make food, and we can talk. Ami would like to check the resort locations and get to know everyone better. All right. Oh, uh, which one's my... Use the phone. Whoops. See which unlocks. Accidental click. And so, almost all scouted to their rooms. They're all handling this so well. Maybe it is a prank after all. That's why they're not freaking out, right? Hey, Harry. I wanted to ask, maybe... Maybe you'd like to have a walk and digest all of this? A walk? I guess a walk Ooh. could help. Oh. On the other hand, it would be good to see my room, get some rest. Maybe try and gather my thoughts. So, like, everyone else literally went to their room? Oh, boring! You two want to come and have a party in mine? Um, thank you, Eva. I think I'd rather have a walk. Harry? <laughs> She's so bubbly. Shit. Who? What do I do? I think he means Eva. Alright, our next uh, important <laughs> critical decision. What do you think, Nana? First off, what would you do in this circumstance? I would party. Yeah, of course. I've just been kidnapped. Like, you know, uh, there's no rules. Might as well just go and uh, go and have a party. I think, actually, I would probably want to sleep off the uh, whatever mm. the gas is. Mm. But Mia seems so... She actually seems a little dangerous to me. Very interesting. Very interesting. Which one should we choose, though? I think... Mia is the one that everyone goes with, so not that. So that narrows it down to two. What do you think? We'll party. Party it is. Actually, oh, the music changed. Sorry, Mia. Bye. Actually, someone like Ava could make me feel better. She's so lively. Are you sure you don't want to join us, Mia? Yeah, come on. It'll be so fun. Perhaps later. Oh, she's not without her own, uh, you know, sense of humor and parting, if it seems. Meet me, don't hesitate to text. Sammy's, we can, like, poke each other for company. No need. Certainly. Same. See you tomorrow. If I can get home drunk, I can open up a door sober. <laughs> Hard to argue against that logic. Not sure what I expected. It's a room. OMG, look at that gift bag. Oh, I can totally see some of my favorite brands of makeup. Oh, she really jumped for You're it. You're so positive, despite all that's happening. Why be sad and cry? Not like I can change it a lot, lol. Might as well turn this into some awesome soft show and get hella rich. XD. <laughs> I guess that's one way of putting it. I'm the kind of person who handles bridges when I come to them. Live in the moment. 
I get distracted by so many things. I sometimes even forget about being worried. <laughs> that oh, one well. feels a little too close to home, though. <laughs> I... Oh. Oh! What the WTF? One set of clothes? They're literally torturing us already. Um, what? <laughs> no in basket tragedy. OMFG, we're stuck with the clothes we have on. Oh, but I get this super cute bikini. Anyway, so tell me about you. Uh, I... I'm obsessed with this look of yours. It gives me such geek vibe, lol. You know, I watched a cartoon once and you totally remind me of that guy. <gasps> no, wait, I know what we can do. Oh, I can teach you a skincare routine, yes! Hun, you really have to love yourself and that also means your skin. Is she for real? I can't even get a word in. This can't be the extent of her personality, right? Really makes me question why they would handpick her. Must admit, though, must admit, even though she irks me a bit, she is kind of funny. This airheaded attitude makes me smile. Airheaded. <laughs> Rude, Harry. Mm -hmm. And now we get a little glimpse at how uh, we can uh, receive text messages on our phone. This is obviously not the first phone that uh, Harry started with. Uh, and the date, September 16th, as we know, day two. Anni wants to make breakfast. Anni invites everyone to breakfast with Anni. Do you want to try the Swedish accent? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did... I have no idea how that works. Anni found food ready to be cooked in the kitchen. All right, I'm not. <laughs> That's nice of you. I'll come help. Yeah! Yeah, questions. Duh. Yeah, questions. I have questions too. Sweet. I'll be there. Omni uh. wants to make food alone. Omni wants to treat everyone. More like Omni wants to kill everyone. It's gotta be poison, right? Kind of want to look around first. But food tasty. I'm literally going to die without emojis. Let's not wander around alone. It could be dangerous. Ah, thanks, Mom. Investigating the premises seems like a wise choice. Then perhaps eating together first, and we'll check the area after? Works for me. C. No, no capitalization, nothing, no period, full st no punctuation. Just the most boomer. boomer thing ever, yeah. Agreed. Omni is happy. Omni will start cooking right away. Everyone come here. Breakfast with a bunch of strangers? Great. I guess it's a good idea to get to know them a bit. Especially if we can't escape before the six months is up. Well, it looks like we have another text message. Bios? Hmm. Everyone check bios. L-O-O-O-O-L. OMG, WTF. Who even wrote this? <laughs> that line always makes me laugh. Uh, I don't know. Why is Sasha question mark, question mark, question mark all over the place? It's a mystery. Where are you from? Not telling you. Is your name really Sasha Smith? Sounds just as basic as John Doe. Exactly. Anni likes what Anni has. Cup size? Blood type? Because that's how Isaac would, obviously. They should have put more effort. Sasha, you don't have to be afraid. You can share with us. Like... Chill, Mia. Let her do her. Th let them do their thing. There has to be a reason why their info is obstructed. I paid them to do it. Maybe they don't know where Sasha is from. Maybe. Leave Sasha alone. Go under a blanket, cry, then film yourself saying that. WTF? Memes are my thing. Okay. And now we have character bios. Okay, so here we can find out a little bit more about uh, each of our characters. So, uh, Francisca is an automotive mechanic by trade. Interesting, interesting. Let's see. What does Ava do? Internet celebrity and Swiftogram influencer. Most of her notoriety is tied to the Kebab My Face meme. And her appearance on Estonia's Yadavim I reality TV show. So, an Estonian influencer... A Portuguese auto mechanic. A uh, Dutch gullible Adonis. 
uh, or a professional cyclist. He pays meticulous attention to his health, I see. Okay. So Dutch cyclist. A Swedish maid, who will be 20 soon and likes Fika and Goris. And is mm -hmm. apparently a people pleaser and capable of establishing personal boundaries. Hashtag relatable. We have an Italian restaurateur and influential politico, Giovanni Lombardi. Then we have Harrison. Harrison is a run-of-the-mill college dropout who has spent the last few years as a mediocre bus driver in London. He's easily startled and not much to look at, but at least he has thick enough skin to deal with the after-midnight crowd on his bus route. Our operatives observed him moping about in pubs, generally being miserable and making awkward attempts at sparking conversation. Oh, Harry boy. You poor thing. Any idea? What's your guess for where Isaac is from? No idea. It looks like, uh... Norwegian, apparently. I actually, of course, know this part. Uh, Isaac is a surprisingly well-established jeweler and niche celebrity in the underground goth community. Considering his melodramatic and ostentatious nature, it's hardly surprising that he swoops around cemeteries and goth clubs, reciting prose and quoting myths and epics. Generally misanthropic, he detests celebrities, social medias, and fun things like Christmas. He views himself as something of an iconoclast, and embarrassingly enough, others seem to agree. Our operatives weren't able to determine the exact cause of the feud, but he seems to be at odds with the local church. Okay. And then we have Lumi, who is Finnish. And uh, apparently 189 centimeters tall, a doctoral candidate in chemistry and molecular sciences. Um, yeah. Apparently uses pseudonyms online to publish research articles. Intriguing. Mia, German. Mist. Uh, age 23, an unemployed programmer, living at home with a number of siblings. Uh, she now passes her time playing video games and watching an odd assortment of true crime and children's TV shows. Likes festivals. Sasha, no known nationality, age, height, weight, blood type. Weird, though, that blood type just has the one question mark, I guess. That makes sense, though. What does Sasha do? They are a... Pro their profession is technology-oriented, and they provide unknown freelance services to questionable clientele. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then this... angry... little <laughs> kidnappy... French. Valérie is the heiress to a massive French perfume business. She comes from obscene wealth. And with it comes an ambitious and demanding nature and no small sense of sophistication. Yeah, all of that seems pretty... pretty obvious. Okay. <clears throat> That's a bunch. That is a bunch. I wonder if any of them have any mental health issues. Uh, Omni has strong <laughs> indicators of a learning disability, as it shows here. I bet all of them are going to have mental health issues considering they're locked on an island for six months. Mm. And the threat of death, dismemberment, blackmail, torture, etc. kind of just hangs over their every move. I think Isaac will be just fine. Yeah, he gives that vibe, doesn't he? I can smell the food cooking. That must be bacon and eggs. I hope it's not poisoned or something. That was where my head went, Harry boy. Hmm... Looking around, everyone arrived in a timely manner, yet it's all just so ox, awkward silence. I'm guessing everyone is kind of hungry, and by the looks on their faces, everyone's on edge. Eva seems to be on the phone again. I don't want to judge too early, but really? At least her personality is radiantly positive. A notification? Not my phone. Oh, gee, this is boring. Is it? I'll literally die if nobody says a word. I'll literally die if nobody says a word. Let's talk about stuff you like. 
I'll start. I like makeup, fashion, TV shows, pastas. Ugh, I really like kebabs. My biggest strength Ugh, is my I really like kebabs. <laughs> like, don't we all? That's exactly my reaction when thinking about kebab. My greatest weakness is that it's hard to perfect perfection. Oh, no. Oh, whoa, no. Ah. <laughs> we gotta go back through. Misclick, misclick. Luckily, we have the dialogue log. Uh, my biggest strength is my personality. Yeah, greatest weakness is it's hard to perfect perfection. Oh, no. That attitude just screams troublemaker. You find yourself perfect? How quaint. Maybe not, like, perfect perfect, but, like, I'll never settle for less. So, like, fake it till you make it. Yes. That's the spirit. Work hard. Be your very best. I like competitions, good workouts, cycling, and making friends. I'm a pro cyclist. The proest. Flex. Flex. I hope he's not going to be too competitive. Thanks for sharing. I'll go next. I like drawing. I'm an aspiring artist. I am a junior coder. Uh, I'm good at organizing and management. I have lots of siblings, so like a lot of varied activities. Francisca, car mechanic. I like parties, good coffee, football. Party. That was one of my favorite lines that I accidentally skipped. Um, was the party line is just so fun. Oh, and then Giovanni uh, proves that he's a jackass. Women don't have any idea what good football and cars are. Hmm, you're... Okay. Vai te de regaggio. I think that's how you pronounce that, but if it's not, neither of us knows. So, <laughs> we can pretend. Uh, but yeah, uh, I hope it means uh, you're an asshole you jerk uh directed at mm -hmm. giovanni that would be misogyny still rampant even in this day and age let's not argue over such simple topics still confused why social gave us the wrong name quiet for a reason i pass i'm just listening just one tidbit one small thing tell us about your badges at least i like tinkering i'm an engineer pastafarianism is pog earth's a triangle that's it and now Thanks a lot, Lumi. My I misclick. I follow social norms, but prefer minimal interaction. I already presented the most crucial information about myself. My hobbies revolve around my studies and green solutions. I heard Finns are cold. That's good enough Thanks. for now. Thanks, Harry. Well, considering a good chunk of our team is Finnish folks, um, <laughs> you know, uh, me? Why me? Um, I guess I like a lot of stuff too. Shows, games, escape rooms, pizza, that's about it. I don't feel comfortable sharing more. Too much social pressure. I will continue from that abysmal performance. As heiress to a great perfume industry, my hobbies revolve around the elite of society. Oh. I have no time for trivial activities. However, fine dining, cheese and wine, mm, magnifique. All right, I love cheese. <laughs> I'll miss one. Hashtag relatable. Also hashtag relatable. Maybe they'll throw some in the ocean for you. Of to course find you love it. cheese. Cheese, wine, come on. <laughs> I'm basically Valerie right here. <laughs> Maybe they'll throw some in the ocean for you to find later. Alright, alright. Gio will miss oh, wine too, but he wants to be next. Learning from Anika? Her cooking skills are no match for me. <laughs> Not what I meant. So you're a chef? I'm astounded. You do not know who Giovanni Lombardi is. <laughs> Ragazza, you must watch TV. Ha, huh. some washed up celebrity. What does Ragazza even mean? Which is also what I was thinking. <laughs> you might know me from my wife or my famous restaurants. My chefs make the best lasagna al forno nepaletana. That face. Chef kiss. Yeah, that is a bit of a... <laughs> the tongue just gently brushing the edge of the mustache. Woo! He talks with his Hans, too. How stereotypical. Mm, where's Anika with the food? Soon, kiddo. Soon. Any hobbies? Maybe I shouldn't have engaged. Football! Instant like regret. Man up there. Girls, of course, and good quality clothing brands. Those are not hobbies, Dark but evil. I'll stay quiet. You're next. And so the wheel turns. 
I prefer to be a mystery. One clue unveiled at a time. Aside a good mystery, I enjoy history and messing with the timelines. Okay. That's, um... Yeah. Very, uh, Steinsgate of you. Like some watch repairman. That's what you got from that? <laughs> like... <laughs> Something similar, but not quite. <clears throat> I would He's kind of dramatic. Just a of little bit. Holds. I hope the future holds some food. I am starving. Ami heard that. Ami is now bringing food. That's fantastic. You're the last to share. Yeah, food for everyone. She's balancing so many plates on her arms, all while holding two jugs of orange juice. Oh, don't you need help? Oh, no. Ami is very strong. Ami can do it. This is one of Ami's hobbies. Juggling? <laughs> All right, I'm not sure go. that's what that cool. is, but uh, okay. Aiba, Ami meant serving people. Ami loves being a maid. It's the best thing Ami can do. I don't really see that as a hobby, but if you like it... Uh, I don't know. Maybe your hobby can be work. I, uh... I tend to appreciate... A good, what else? Good bit of work. Yeah, Ami likes to knit, go to Fika, eat goodies, and watch TV. Okay. Don't know what half of those words are, I so I'll just smile and nod. But maybe you can teach us. Oh, Ami will. But Ami thinks everyone needs to eat first. Gah. Thank you for the food, Annika. I'm ready to devour. That is so much further than like, I can't wait to eat. <laughs> I'm ready to devour. The food She's is quite ready. delicious. He seems like it. So, we're splitting to check the area. See, see? I am very much interested to see what this island has to offer. The kitchen has me interested. I want to see what we're working with. Checking what provisions we have sounds like a good plan. We can trust they will keep their word and send us food. I see no reason why they would break their vow. Torture, illegal experimentation, blackmail. Highly unlikely. Lumi seems pretty like see, intent on blackmail all the time. I don't know what that's about. It's settled then. Split up and inspect the premises. Try to avoid using the group chat. We might be monitored. I want my home. Can that be an option? No. Guess I'll look around too. So now we get to... Okay, so there's a little envi environment here. Obviously, the 3D environments will play a bigger role later. But for now, we get to... Okay, so we've got a couple... Of, we've got a choice to make. Where should we head off to? But real quick, one thing I want to see... Ah, okay, so this is the extent of the map for now. As the producers alluded to, more locations will be, uh, will be accessible later. Where should we go? What do you think, Nana? Looking at who... Who are where? We're going to the gym. Okay. I love that little sound effect. <laughs> <clears throat> Curious, but we shouldn't loiter. I'm sure there are still plenty of locations to investigate. Oh, a gym. There's lots of things here, or I'll let them be. Uh, there's lots of things here. I wouldn't have expected to see a fully equipped gym. This looks better than most places in London. Totally unprepared. I didn't bring any good outfits for the gym. Let's see if we can turn up... Totally unprepared. I didn't bring any good outfits for the gym. Hey. Yeah, it's great. Maybe they want us to train for some sports. Wait, gym outfits? That's why I'm always prepared. Already dressed. Uh, 
I will certainly ready. lift a single of these items. Let's not start working out now. I would like to see the rest of the resort before we get stopped. Not giving up. Oh, eh, sure. Gets me hyped, though. So, one thing you'll notice is that not all of the events are fully voice acted. Uh, most of the major ones are, or all of the major ones are. Um, and that's because Inescapable has a humongous amount of content. Uh, we're talking, like, potentially over 50 hours for one playthrough, and we know that there are multiple narrative paths um, that don't just change the ending specifically, but change the, um, well the game itself uh which will be quite intriguing later um not maybe on full display in this demo but uh that's it gets me hyped though hmm. are they really being honest about us just enjoying the resort for six months with no extra trickery super that's my plan exacto six months of all-inclusive vacation yes does she even take this seriously Mundane. Indra taught me to be vigilant. Anansi spins her web with chaos. Indra? Anansi? Eh. Think I ate that once? Poor lad. Too much protein powder in the brain. How um. absurd. Deities and mythology. Intriguing characters with a lot to learn from their stories. Now I'm interested, what are the, like, what are the stories of Indra and Anansi? Hmm, wonder what that has to, specifically with this mischievous look Isaac is giving me. What is this look? Hmm, he seems to know something I don't know. Mate. You mentioned you like history. Are you a historian? Oh, the master knows. Nay, an artist with a particular talent for jewel crafting. Wow, that sounds interesting. Mia seems to share your uh, appreciation of Isaac. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Wow, indeed. You do great in one of my videos. Let's collab sometime, lol. Ha. You're like a game character. <laughs> I'd be the agile one. Swoosh, swash, alley you. I, I don't like him. What? I can't. Why? Hey, whoa, wait a second here. Uh, let's rethink. Bouncy guy. He's quite energetic. Makes sense, given he's a cyclist. I don't know what that is, but that sounded cool. I presume I ought to be the scryer then. Like a seer? Divination is the strongest form of magic, after all. I'm just imagining somebody saying that to me, and I'd just be like, uh, let's hit him with the kettlebell. <laughs> like, just, uh, I'm usually the wise leader when I roleplay with my younger siblings. I'm the charisma, duh. What would I be? Oh, another choice. A quest giver, a paladin, or multi-class. What do you think, Nana? Hmm. <clears throat> I guess the first one. A quest giver. Mm -hmm. Of what What sort of quests are we talking here? You need to go fetch things. Fetch quests. Magnifique. Yeah. And mostly cheese and wine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Harrison, for laughing at my joke. <laughs> I'd rather just be an NPC. A quest giver of sorts. It makes me smile when I see people succeed. Why would you miss the opportunity to be the main character in your own story? My story involves a lot of people, but it is my story. Like viral. Secretly, even introverts love spotlights. You'll see. I don't. Dunno, I kinda like being in the spotlight and winning too. Sure. I'll consider my story a success if all the people involved are happy. I appreciate the mentality, but you can be a hero and still support everyone. Be your best, so you can be that best in everyone's lives. Damn, they're just dropping like... <laughs> but hey, hey, I'd rather not turn... But, hee <laughs> hee, I'd rather not turn this into a philosophy discussion. Yeah, they're dropping some serious knowledge here. Have you checked with the rest? Not yet. I'm on my way. We'll do another round and call it a day. Keep in touch and make sure you get some rest, too. Okay, and so time has passed. And in each of these... um when you go and you speak to folks um that 
takes up a slot of time and choosing what to excuse me do with that time is um intriguing it looks like uh lumi and sasha have both been in the garden for quite some time now um what do you think where should we head next the garden sounds nice where are the rest though i wonder mm -hmm. hmm up to some tomfoolery perhaps perchance Lumi looks like she's inspecting the plants. Sasha's on the phone. Should I ask what they're doing? Mind my own business. Which do you think? <clears throat> I would mind my own business. All right, let's mind our own business. We'll go to the kitchen then. <clears throat> I suggest you drop a list with expiry dates and record all the current inventory. Hmm. Why? It's already well organized. Oh, Boyo came to check out all this food. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I would choose, so we're Welcome going with back. that one. Well, I wanted to see what the situation is, too. Ani will help me. Ani was surprised to see so much food. Every drawer is stuffed. Anything from cold meats to rare spices. Anything. <laughs> uh, good one, Harrison. Yeah. Very good one. It was. Si, si. There's lots of alcohol, too. Ragazza. <laughs> Boda, say, now we can get drunk and forget about this merda. No, thank you. I'd rather be sober in case something else comes around the corner. It is, however, curious that the pantry is filled to the brim. Am I too paranoid, maybe? <laughs> Anni had a hard time deciding what to make for our first breakfast. Anni was so overwhelmed in the morning. I put so in there by accident. Hey. We should take turns to make the food. Make a list. Why would we take turns when we have a maid and a restaurant owner? A ragazza. Gio cooks only for Gio and his kids. Oh, you have kids? I mean, find somebody who looks at you the way Francisca looks at Gio after she finds out he has kids. She asks about kids, but isn't phased by his selfishness? Serena and Andrea. I love them more than I love my car collection. One would hope. Yeah. Andy can cook every day. It's going to be just like Andy's job. I don't think it's fair. That's a lot on the soul on the shoulders of one woman. Taking turns is the mature way of handling this. Are you legal, Valerie Filia? Mm -hmm. Your question has diverse answers based on your understanding of legal. I presume you inquire about my age, to which, yes, I have just turned 18. She looks the youngest. She might actually be the youngest. For this. You can probably take care of yourself, then. I was five when my siblings and parents stopped babysitting me. Know that I would be able to take care of myself, even if I were younger. Annika volunteered to keep her position as a maid. I see no reason to invalidate that. Not everything's bad. Most people get paid for that kind of work. Not the worst Is 500k not enough, kiddo? Uh, fair point, kinda, in a way. I mean, though, some people would then ostensibly get it for doing nothing. I shouldn't have said anything. That's okay. Annie doesn't mind. Really, Annie would feel bad without the job. Hey. We'll spread tasks. Cooking will be one of them, and we'll help, one way or another. Damn, that actually reads a little more threatening than I read it the first time. <laughs> True. You're optimistic this situation will not escalate negatively? No, that felt like a threat. I'm like, I'm not 100% sure now. What choice do I have? Take things as they come. No reason to despair. We're not dead yet. My family would be outraged if I were to die. I suggest you ensure I survive. Well... I think everyone's family would be outraged. <clears throat> you are not the daughter of one of the richest men on Earth. That's because I'm a guy. Not the worst idea. You're not the only one with a rich family, kiddo. Hmm. Will either of your rich families come get us? 
Maybe they captured you for ransom. Probably not. What makes you say that? Oh, don't know about you, but I am poor. I guess I'm not an heir or famous restaurant owner. Hey, um, I'll let you handle the food situation. Mia mentioned rationing. Maybe it's worth it. We'll figure something out. Oh, and he wants to make food tomorrow, too. Come early. Okay. And just like that, we're into the evening of our second day. And, of course, uh, the time of day has changed. Oh, these two are still in the garden. So I guess that's where we head. Lumi's checking plants, and Sasha's on the phone. They're probably avoiding the rest of us. Could I... Time to ask what they're doing. <laughs> right. I see there's some sort of garden here. You folks were taking your time. How's it going? Anything to report? And this changes the dialogue options to my understanding. The plants will require maintenance. Most are decorative, but some are fit for consumption. So you think they're planning on having us do gardening? It is likely. She's not really paying attention to me. Rather, still focused on the plants. And Sasha's just ignoring us. Rude. Sure. You're fond of plants. Some of them do look beautiful. Quite exotic. Huh. Only for research purposes. Oh. Looking back. Well, some plants are very useful. Like aloe. I think that one over there is aloe. Just a quick shout out to my boy Buck in the Twitch chat. See. It is indeed. Mate. It is Allo. Um, That's an awkward little well. encounter. <laughs> Good talk. Sure. What about you, Sasha? Found anything interesting? Look here. Nope. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Not everything's bad. Can I ask you why you told us different names? Not like anyone has secrets, nope. right? Uh, oh, <laughs> um, sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. I'm just curious. Look here. Yep, you're rude. Oh, no. I really don't want to be the rude guy here. Oh, God. <laughs> sorry, if you'd explain, I could avoid doing something offensive in the future. Mind your own business. You're not offending me. Looking back. I have trans friends. I wouldn't want to be rude. If I did, it'd be by mistake. Fucking hell, Harry boy. I didn't give my name because I don't know any of you. Don't plan on making friends here either, so whatevs. Has nothing to do with my gender. Fuck. I don't see a boat coming to help us. Maybe it would be better if we were friends. Not uh, everything's bad. I just assumed it's probably a sensitive topic, like a dead name. Not like anyone it is for some. Right. I don't care. You don't have to walk on eggshells. Mate. Would you like to share your story? Oh, God. Harrison is doing all the, like... Oh, you idiot. <laughs> nope. Hmm. Uh, then, what do you think of the garden? Give me some sugar. Anika and Lumi could take care of it. Very well. She sounded like she has no choice. I'm not going to be a knight in shining armor, though. Sure. What are you doing on the phone? Look here. You forgot to tell us your hobby is being an investigator. Mind your business. Yeah, I can, um, I can relate it to... <laughs> I can relate to this. Yeah. I would probably be much. Yeah, I'd be telling Harry to shut the f up. Let's be real. I'd just be like, hey, how about you uh, just get out of my damn face? Huh? Oh, um, s sorry. Maybe I should go. Ooh, girl. Bye, girl. Bye. They'll warm up, right? And just like that, we go back to the. To the room for some sleep. <laughs> this is going to be our dining I love the... hall for six months. Oh, a text message. Puzzle. I almost forgot. Did you have some sort of puzzle to get out of the container? Yeah, like connect the lines? Logic puzzle? I had an observation puzzle. I had to break down a chemical formula. I didn't have a puzzle. I just had to run very fast and increase my heart rate. Interesting. Seems like they were tailored to us, sort of. Hmm. And Yori brought up a really interesting point. Is that despite Mia asking this question, Mia never says what Mia's puzzle was. A little sus. This place needs a total makeover, lol. 
This girl has too much energy this early, and she's late. Good morning, Miss Tam. Uh -huh, and I said before, just call me by my name. <clears throat> Good morning, Eva. A bit late, but glad you joined. That would be all of us. Since we're all gathered here, I think we should discuss some logistics. Oh god, logistics? Until we figure out how, and if we can leave the island, I suggest we meet at breakfast daily. Honey can make breakfast every day! <gasps> can you, like, make pancakes each day? Honey can! We are not beasts to eat the same meal each day. A variety of dishes would be required. <laughs> Hi! I can't eat pancakes daily. That's the definition I need of more protein. beast. Yeah, if that's the definition of a beast, I mean, I got some serious thinking to do. Same. Some people might have allergies and dietary restrictions. Can't agree on Let's breakfast. This hasn't started well. At a later point. We can take notes on Good who refocus. can eat what and when. And, of course, what's available in the pantry. OMG, first major crisis. What if the food sucks? <laughs> yeah, I mean... You've only been kidnapped. You're only being forced to stay on an island for six months. Oh, come on. What? That's got to be the first, you know, the first real question. Whether or not the food is any good. We checked the fridges. It was good stuff. It was good stuff. Excellent. I think more pressing matters would be the lack of food. We were told that's being taken care of. Remains to see how, I guess. Hmm. This is going to turn into some sick game of hunger. Next point, Blondie. Touche. Yes. Although, call me Mia, please. We've a few things to discuss over each breakfast. What was done yesterday, what will be done today. If someone needs help or if there are any questions. Interesting organization this reminds me of something. Where did you learn this? Yeah, me too. Thanks. Scrum meetings. <laughs> Great plan. I like that Mia's well organized. Uh, by all that, you mean routine, food habits, exploration? All of the above. Our focus will be to understand this island. What are all the facilities and possible hidden secrets? Possible hidden secrets? Hmm. And an escape route, right? Huh? <laughs> huh? I guess it was on everyone's lips, but this guy is really as subtle as bricks. I say, we are a diverse bunch, with probably varied skills. Among which a maid who can cook and clean, two smart individuals with science and math knowledge, a bodyguard, and much more. <laughs> Survival seems in our favor, unless they suddenly release tigers in the jungle. Sure, and you can fix claw marks and clothes. She, she's cute. At least she's cute. Thank God she's cute. Oh, poor Annie. Nevertheless, <laughs> I scry great success for us, and in six months it will rain with riches. I just want to say, you know, I hope same, Isaac. I hope same. Sister said, enjoy. Yes, yes. This place is a resort. Fancy fru fru things. I say we do that. Enjoy, enjoy. Hey, you don't gotta tell me twice. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, um, I don't know. What is the worst that could happen? Okay, so Can let's everyone see. Everyone survive, actually. I don't know. That's a good question. Hmm. There are no rules, so I mean, it's kind of. Uh, you know, the 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 choices will will have an effect, and uh, we'll see what's what. Okay, so there's there's now other locations we can visit: the pool in the basement that we've not been to previously, um, as well as I don't think we've had an event at the hotel. Um, what do you think? Where should we head? You choose. I thought you were gonna say kitchen, but um. <laughs> The basement, yeah, <laughs> the basement has me intrigued. Cause why is Geo there? Alone. But also, that could be dangerous going into the basement with Geo. This is a really cool little room, and the ambient noise is super awesome. Hmm. 
All right, let's see what. Merda. Silo Dukitu. Why would Gio be talking on the phone? In Italian. Ooh, I don't. So none of my business feels like it would be less likely to get me jacked up and or killed. So I might just sneak away. But investigating further, I do have a very curious nature. I think mm -hmm. we're going to investigate. Yeah, go for it. Non parlarmi così. I can only imagine it's one of the producers. I think the twins could be speaking Italian. If only we had more info on them. Maybe we could do something. Something... But I don't know what... Huh? Cicazzo! All that angry shouting. Giovanni can look quite intimidating when he puffs up. Hmm. Can't get much other than angry shouting. Still, he spoke Italian on, that f on the phone. That's something to take note of. Hmm. Okay. Oh! Now there's a lot of people here. What do you think, Nanna? Should we see what, uh... Isaac is up to? He is by the pool, That's... after all. Or then we keep following Gio. We could do that. Which one? Let's see Gio. Okay. Let's follow Gio. Merda. Hey, kiddo. Come here. I'm bored as hell. Let's talk about men's stuff. Okay. Yeah. You must like football, no? Mm. <laughs> um, I like how the two options are yeah. But that's another mm -hmm. thing that's kind of important to think about is we are not like Harrison. We're Harrison's moral compass. So like we don't get to determine Harrison's interests. He's already a fully formed, you know, person with his own... Um, you know, background and history and all of that stuff uh, by the time he gets to the island. Um, do we want to talk to him? What do you think? Talk about football with Geo or see what's up with Isaac. Yeah, I don't want to talk about football. Okay. Let's go see what's up with Isaac. Dude, that doesn't sound like whatever he's up to is a good thing, <laughs> like, um... No, it does. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's one perspective. Harrison, just the perfect humanoid. Which indicates Harrison is not human, but only human-shaped. Got it. Ugh. Humanoid. Okay, what's up? Mundane. I need your aid in reworking Maria's wardrobe issue. Wardrobe issue? Well, I'm ecstatic to see one's expression of self. She needs desperate aid. We must pick an item and start with that. Said item will be the centerpiece. The skirt or the scarf? Uh, what do you think? Let's... We can look at what, uh... Mia's skirt and scarf look like. What do you think, Nana? I think she's fine. Okay. Mia is fine as she is. What are you saying? Why would you want to change her clothes? Wouldn't that mean you take away from her identity? Oh, the master One no. can both express identity and have good taste. Simply because you like something, it doesn't mean the rest of the world finds it appealing. Hmm. I don't think she cares if the rest of the world likes it or not. Do you care what the world thinks about you? What sort of a question is that? Ah. Well, do you? Interessant. Ooh. Isaac doesn't like his own medicine. I do not. I dress to express myself, not for the world to feast with its eyes. Never you mind about Mia. I will find other ways to answer my question. Oh, he kind of looks sad now. Yeah. He went from scene to those... emo real quick. He knows how to. Hmm. What was the question? Blasphemy! <laughs> Blasphemy! That was, like, pretty rich uh, audio there. <laughs> I said never mind. 
Okay, okay. Good morning. Day four. Fire. Sit down. Eat, eat. We live another day. Me I have a name. Still sleeping. They're missing breakfast. Ami hasn't seen them the entire morning. Mm -hmm. Ami will put foil on the food to keep it warm. How elusive. Perhaps they've eloped. Ooh. Don't, like, even joke about that. <laughs> the hot stud is totally mine. I really hope nothing bad happened. Someone like Dan could easily overpower Mia. Don't worry, don't worry. The Broyo's probably looking for his bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Broyo. A simple guy is easy to trick. Blackmail and... Yes. There is a possibility the producers are manipulating him. With I wouldn't no put it past him. The worst could happen. Dan? No way. His pronouns are he, him, both. <laughs> He's innocent. Again, this pronouns thing. I don't understand you, kiddo. OMG, not this again! Yeah, he just Friend. latches onto that every single time, huh? Doesn't bother me. Friend, I say nothing but truth! Why? Why would you pretend you're not a girl or boy? Do you have some trauma? Gio Canal, tell me, are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> Rude. Giovanni does have an old school mentality. It doesn't help the situation. Neither, Professor Maple. I just like to wear whatever I want without people bothering me. Fashion is beyond what is considered standard. One step ahead of peasants. However, what you wear is a tragedy, dear. <laughs> like, look who's talking. Mon dieu, I did not have time to get kidnapped in something more proper. The exterior is what we present to the world. First impressions matter. But Isaac just was saying before that he doesn't care what other people think. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Doubt psychopaths he cares on the what internet. other people Careful look like. What you're wearing. Yeah. Anyone can wear a dress if you stop being a bitch about it for five minutes, lol. Preach, girl. That's what I'm saying. No, no! A man must wear what is made for a man! Didn't your father teach you? <gasps> okay, I'm probably a bit stuck up in the old ways, but he's the definition of it. I'll eat my food in silence, and then look for Mia and Don. Good idea, Harry boy. Keep your head down. Just do your own time. Hey, been trying to call you. Everything okay? You missed breakfast. Let me know when you get to see this message. Where are you, Mia? Huh? Hmm? Mia, I'll be right there. Hi, mate. Hi. There they are, both of them. She seems unhurt. Maybe I'll let my I worrying get a bit out of hand. I thought something happened. I'm sorry. I didn't want to use the phone. That's most certainly trapped. Dan will go find Giovanni. Meanwhile, let's look around. Hmm? Why? Did you lose something? Cameras are everywhere. I'd rather talk without being hurt. Alright, I just want to take one quick second to say, look at the damn size of this turnip. It is gargantuan. And delicious is looking. Right? Yeah, I don't know why it, um... <laughs> That stuck out to me, but I was just like, damn, that is a big turnip. Sorry, I just, uh... I think there's some even more beautiful flowers in the back. We'll explain everything once Dan's back. Where could we go? Even the jungle has cameras. I doubt they have eyes everywhere. Plus, we'll keep quiet. Hmm. Can't see any cameras here. It's far enough. Now, tell me what you want to talk about. Men's stuff. <laughs> Guys, Anything. we found a dock. And there are boats! Ugh. Boats is in a chance to escape boats. Dan found the docks when he was jogging. I was first to wake up this morning, so he showed it to me. Believe it! We're going home! It will be our they will figure out our plan. And there will be punishment. It's funny because the only reason I know what Diavole means is because pasta fra Diavola is like delicious and it's um, pasta of the devil, you know, so because it's spicy. So my language knowledge is inherently based on food, which surprises no one. Not if we're really careful. We could do with a diversion. 
Madre de Dios, we don't know where we are or how far we are from land. I noticed that birds are flying by, which means we're close enough to land. There's a chance Lumi knows more about this and we can figure out a direction. The boats were basic. They'll need improvements if they're to take us far. We'll need Sasha For and a basic probably boat Francisca to have service. a look at them. Merida, what would those two know about fixing boats? What do Let you know try, about mate. fixing boats? If they can help, we take the help. This is a team. Going to the docks yeah, again don't. might be too obvious. Best avoid it today. Let's fill everyone in on the plan, but do so one by one. And be careful not to raise suspicion. Precisely. No phones either. And always in whispers. Split up! Harry pal, take Sasha. Why me? Sasha doesn't like me. Because I'll talk with Francisca. Dan and Giovanni can take the rest. Not to offend you, Giovanni. But I don't think Francisca or Sasha like you. I'm not offended. I don't like them either. We'll use the jungle to cover our meetings. As for diversions... Don, Giovanni, do you think you can have a pretend fight? All right, can do! Special Ops, Don! I guess the fight will keep the cameras away from the rest. This seems like a massive gamble. One so wrong we'll move, talk with and we're fucked. And we'll regroup later. All right, let's see what Sasha has to say. There you are. I was looking for you. Pretend I'm invisible. Time to be the best actor you can be, Harry. If there's something in the fridge I wanted to show you. A cream pie. <laughs> You're so funny. Something like that. Look here. I'll pass. Not actually interested. No, look. It's something Annika made for you. She saw your spaghetti monster badge and had an idea. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is the worst possible, like... <laughs> yeah, we made you a spaghetti monster. Come check it in the fridge. Needed you a moment without the cameras. Had to improvise. Yeah, figured. What's up? Follow me after this. We found a safe space where we can talk. Don't try any funny business. I'm well prepared. I don't trust your ass one bit. Y yeah, uh, understood. So I was thinking we can thank her by making a garland of flowers. Over here. I can't help but feel a bit paranoid. What if Sasha turns on me? Or worse? I'm making a massive gamble here. I just have to remember, I can't trust anyone. You're planning either a murder or an escape. Jesus. The latter, actually. How did you figure it out? Sus behavior avoiding cameras desperately trying to draw my attention. You can't do stealth for shit. I'm trying. It got us this far. What's the deal? Mia and Dan found a dock with some boats. We're preparing an escape plan, but the boats will need some fixing up. Damn, Protein Brain got lucky. Where do these boats be? Somewhere south of here, but it's best we don't go there today. There might be cameras, and the producers might find out what we're plotting. Why would they leave a dock with boats for us to find? This seems hella planned. What do you think, Nana? Is it a... Is it a setup? Yeah, <clears throat> I... I don't have a good feeling about that. Yeah, me neither. They're probably and not I don't expecting actually us to try and escape. Believe that they're safe anywhere, like from cameras or anything. Yeah, yeah. I would get that feeling as well. It's like if they've gone through all of this to ensure that um, you know there's a good show, like you would need some pretty intensive audio equipment to be able to you know capture um, what people are saying as well as like you, you know like wherever they might be, and then um, I, they just seem like they're too clever for such a thing. The producers, if they've planned all this so meticulously. From what I understood, the boats need fixing, and we need a direction. That being said, if they do think, oh, the boats are just so fucked up that you know there's no we realistic mean, possibility they could be used. Help out with the boats. Hmm. We'd first need to see them, but buoyancy is easy to achieve. The tricky part is patching them up, but Chica might know how. Chica, oh, I mean, Francisca doesn't know of the plan yet. Another thing that this alludes to is that, you know, um, they have a name already for Francisca. Like, so 
when Harrison's not around, of course, characters are interacting with one another and stuff like that, I would guess. And and so they've obviously had time to, you know, get to know each other well enough um, that Sasha has created a nickname for Francisca. Everyone or at least that's what that says to me. One by one, subtly. Giovanni and Dan will act as distractions so we can go undetected. We'll probably need to act fast. Get food, get materials. Skedaddle. Food? We don't know how far land is. We'll need water and food just in case. Sasha proves to be a font of information. They really think of everything. I wonder how they became so knowledgeable about survival. Or, well, planning. Details to be ironed out while we're fixing the stuff. Once they notice, we're probably on a timer before they rush here. Rush here? How would they even do that? We got here somehow. My guess, given the containers, is by ship. The two dicks probably have a team ready to intervene. We just don't know how fast. Touche. Whoops. So many things stacked against us. There's also the fact that we might suffer repercussions for our actions, as the two said. Suddenly, I feel like this isn't that great of an idea after all. I've seen dudes take dildos twice the size of their arm. If they've got that courage, so can you. Touché. Disgusting. Please don't say that again. Sense. Man up. Wheels are in motion. There's lots of types of courage. Checking the boats. Wait, what? How? When? You don't need to know that. Just make sure nobody's snitching. Bloody hell, I didn't even think of that. Everyone wants to escape. I'm sure of it. I'm not. We'll I'm certainly not. Have Anika prepare our food after breakfast. I'll do my part when we've got the distraction all set. It would really help if you could share what you're planning. Fuck no. That's not my style. And I don't trust you. Rude. But fair point. I can't pretend that three people with their heads in the fridge whispering isn't a bit ridiculous. I can't believe they took something that's mine. What have they taken from you, Chica? Francisca, whatever they have, the police will help you get it back. We have more strength out there. She's so Here, innocent. Our hands are tied. Mia. Yeah. Uh, or or cunning, you know? Hmm. I get the feeling I don't I don't trust Mia. We are at their mercy. Two two on top of it and not, you know, volunteering any information about themselves. Hmm. Grande merda. Caralho, grande merda. Can you at least help out with the boats? You can remain here if you want. You don't have to leave. But help us escape so we can bring help. <sighs> mm, that, yes, I can. Talk with Sasha. They'll handle the boat fixing. Valerie had an idea about direction. I think Dan and Giovanni are about to fight. So we're about to get moving. Mm. I'll help Annika carry the food. You talk with Valerie. She's in the garden. All right. Everyone has their reservations. Heck, even I'm not sure about this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's no certainty that we haven't been ratted out yet. But there's also no word from the producers. All of this gives me so much hope. With each passing hour, we're getting closer and closer. Hmm. Val first, anxiety after. Bonjour, mademoiselle. How's your morning? Damn, Harry's got the French down pat. Overwhelmingly dull. This is not a result, this is torture. I've requested additional pillows, but I have yet to receive an answer. I have something that might interest you. A little bit of gossip? How pedestrian. I am not interested in mundane topics. She's really making it hard. I notice a camera to our left, but it's pretty far. I don't think it'll pick up a whisper. Mia mentioned you have an idea about our direction. The movement of birds is an indicator. Considering the weather, sun, dawn, and twilight, I have a calculated guess. Valerie, I didn't know you were a sciencey person. I received the best education in my private lessons. Do not be surprised. That also seems like a suspicious statement. She's kind of like warning you to be on your guard, you know? Like, I know a little bit more than you think I know. At least that's my, you know, interpretation of it. Yeah. But why would Lumi she tell that? My educated prediction. Maybe to prevent you from being able to... Like, maybe she's 
you know, that's her safety mechanism. Is she's like threatening you, you know, to make you wary of like, oh shit, I don't know what she knows. I don't know. Does she know judo? You know, <laughs> maybe she, uh, who knows how she's trained. She's spicy. She's got a little, look at this mischievous look in her eyes and this little smirk going on here. Mm, girl. However, <laughs> it is unknown if we ought to travel for a few hours or a few days. Touche. I'm unaware of how swift the boats will be. Sasha took that into account. We're getting all the provisions we can. I shall wait for you at the docks. Do not be tardy. I will inform the producers if I notice hesitation or an attempt at betrayal. Damn. She's brutal, too. She's like... And it... she's not whispering. Yeah. She... Oh, yeah. Not at all. And she's like, if you fuck with me, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna make sure the producers know. I'm gonna tell mom. Yeah. Both ironic and unnerving. I guess that's to be expected. The snitch would probably be spared. No, they don't. Snitches get stitches. Even I am tempted to, uh, even I am tempted to say something. It's probably just the desire to get home that keeps everyone from telling. For now, time to witness the fight. Let's see if now one of my favorite lines I actually get to hear. Mate, I messed it up last cool. time. Everyone should put their weights back. Merda, bro. <laughs> Haven't you heard of no rules? I'm sorry, but that's how you want to apply no rules? It's just like, hey, we can leave our weights wherever the hell we want at this gym. Okay. Yeah, okay. And of all the things they could have picked a fight about, it's the gym. I just hope they can make it believable enough. You can enough. still be a nice guy, even without rules. Rules are there to protect the weak and hinder the strong from ruling. That's quite a chokehold. Obi's not actually hurting Don. <laughs> oh no! They're fighting! Scandalous! Think that should draw some attention. This is probably what the producers were waiting for. Right back at you! Uh, brute! <laughs> I can't watch this! His insult but game is, is weak as hell. <laughs> That's fine. There go Anika and Mia. Chica should give me a sign any moment now. Yes! I mean, no. Wait. Ooh. Fight naked. That'll make it better. LOL. May I suggest sand in the face? Those two lines are some of my favorite back-to-back. -back. Wait. No. Fight naked. That'll make it better. May I suggest sand in the face? A little bit of pocket sand? But... That's my cue. Oof. This stuff is heavy. Where did they get all the planks and rubber? Yo, yo, took your fucking time. What are you, drag queens? We got a bit lost. Can't believe all of this was left here. The boats look quite neglected. Can they even take us across the water? Maybe that's why they didn't bother with them. Are they even fixable? Think we'll have to get stuffed in them. But they seem fine enough. We'll see in water if they work. There's also two that are already in the water, and they seem sturdy enough. One of them is gonna need some wrap-like add-on to keep the balance. We can tie the two of them together to make that happen or something. No time to fuck around. Let's get started. Oh, by the way, where did you get all the materials from? Engine room. And shit I found around the docks. Maybe they left them here for us to fish. OMG, hi guys. <laughs> this is so effing exciting. The rest are arriving. Didn't get to say goodbye. Send them a postcard. How are the boats looking? Giovanni and Don look quite ruffled up. Like they must have had a good tussle. Don't know for how long. Figuring where we're going yet. Good gemacht. Splendid. Ah, oh yes. Val, Lumi, and I all agree we're going west. Huh? Where's west? That way or the other way? Nature provides information. Moss on trees. Sunrise and sunset. The North Star. Hmm. Isaac, everything all right? What's on your mind? Oh, yes. My expansive mind reaches corners you shouldn't know of. Pay no mind. He's been acting a wee bit strange since so, like, yesterday. Oh, it's just nerves. It's not quite possible to tell how far we are from the nearest landmass. Some birds migrate for more than four days. Used with caution, we've enough supplies for that. Help us put the last boat in the water, then load them evenly. All right, woohoo, excited, jump! Oh yeah! Do we throw the phones away? No, we might be able to send an SOS. Didn't look into it yet. Just keep them closed. Closed? 
But why closed? My phone's on. They might be listening on the mic and track us. Duh. Mon dieu, my phone has been on this entire time. Mist, that escaped me. What the fuck? Ah, fuck me with a cactus. Why? Oh, we compromised. Why didn't the sisters intervene then? Maybe, maybe. Or they were too busy with other shit and we slipped under their noses. Mm, I say, we we'll hear them packed. Let's get the hell out. You guys, we should sing sea songs. This operation fared much better than anticipated. Oh. I am Music changes. Surprised. Fun. Hey, like how about we talk while paddling? I have a schedule for my uploads. The boats look good. Seems Cheek is coming with no, us after all. We're doing this. We're going home. <laughs> Go down. I'm securing the cargo. Ami tied it very well to each boat. Everyone jump in. Day five, Eden. It's been quite some time. Uh oh. The island's got so much smaller. How long do you think we've been sailing for? Sailing? Mate, this is intense exercise, not gonna lie. Reckon roughly two hours, based on the sun and my count. I ran out of song ideas. Can't we turn on the phones just for like a tiny bit? If we do, it's for me to fidget with. Not music. Mm. Anyway, think we can still pedal for a while, but we need to swap. Everyone but Valerie can help out. Don and Giovanni Let's will certainly cover the most soon. of this. I think swap that's what it said. We'll cover more high most of the distance here. Are there sandwiches? Omni can make you one. No, all right, thanks. Ava and I are next. Okay, I'm kind of shipping Don and Annika. I mean. Call me crazy, but it feels like it could work. You know? They no? are they are on the same energy level, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Time passes much slower when I have to row. I think my arms are going numb. This is like so much worse than Pilates WTF. Like, why didn't we bring electric motors? Oh yeah, let me just shit one out. No landmass in the distance, and the island is starting to fade away. Ami wonders how do we know where to paddle without the island? The night sky can help us orientate. Paddling? Through the night? Oh, I don't know. We have food for days. Trust! Here, let me paddle. <sighs> Let's take a moment to orientate. Orientate? Orientate what? We don't know how far we have to paddle for! I want to go back! Take me back at once! Wait a moment! We know that birds... Failia, we're not birds! I can't do this. I need to go back. I have too much to lose. I think the probability of success has drastically decreased. We should return. Probably. We can't return now! We got so far! Cheer up! Let's sing! Um, yeah! I'm scared! <laughs> Omni doesn't want to sing anymore! Take me back! Take Screaming! I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, say again. <laughs> and so our great escape turned into chaos, as expected. How boring! I'm totally freaking out. Hearts, like you're smart. Tell me you got this. I got like a plan B. I um. Fuck! Back. Fuck! Fuck! <sighs> Let go of the paddle. We can still do this. Everyone, shut the fuck up! Shut up! Let me sick! Okay, Dad. I mean, that was a, a very telling, but um, yeah, also reminded me of my dad. It all went undetected because they knew we can't escape like this. They're probably laughing their asses off right now. Jesus. We are going back where Je we can Je still Je see Je the can we really not escape together? Or maybe the better question is, can I even survive this? Oh no! Boom. And that's it. That's the... the first... taste of inescapable. I kinda miss Dawn now. Yeah, yeah. When shit gets real, it's like, oh wait, uh, can we have Dawn back? Um, yeah. 
Because that um wasn't so fun. What do you Dan think, Nana? say LFG. Let's fucking go. Oh, I mean, let's go. Yes. Mm. Let's freaking go. So, thoughts? Yeah. Any characters you uh, you trust? Any characters you don't trust? Any characters you despise? What's the, the general consensus here? Any favorites? Um, I, I want to trust all of them. I think it would be more fun if you just trust them. Have a party, right? Just vacation time. Yeah. Time. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. What about chat? What does chat think? Okay, I want to know what happens next. Don X Hari all the way. Okay, that's a, could be a good ship too. Ship name Donica. Okay, I like that one as well. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, for me, you know, I think the ones that are most su well, a lot of them are sus. I think um, if it was just me and Chica surviving on the island, though, I'm sure we would get along perfectly fine. You know, or me and uh, you know me and Don would also get along, I think. And then Ava is just a a little too unpredictable. Would probably want me to do too many like you know moisturizing treatments. Not sure how that goes, considering I have an oily T zone. Um, can that be accounted for? I don't know. But that was a that was a lot of fun for me. Any um, what are your kind of thoughts on what happens next? Any any hypotheses? Hmm. Maybe they all just die. Yeah, I mean, we didn't actually see the raft get back to shore. So maybe that's it. Is uh, You get the full game, and then, you you know, the moment <laughs> is like, they all perished. Your choices yeah. led to this. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But um, for me, I think um, I would also like to see everybody... Uh, you know, treat it like one gigantic vacation. That seems like a good time. Uh, but I have a feeling, you know, given Giovanni's phone call, that that might not exactly be on the table. Um, same thing with whatever they have of Chica's. I'm not sure. Maybe it's uh, some, some blackmail type stuff. Or actually, Lumi, speaking of which, was obsessed with blackmail. Every single time they said, you know, about some kind of negative consequence, Lumi was talking about blackmail. So I'm like, what do they got on you, girl? Mm. I noticed one thing. I don't like not knowing things. Okay. Elaborate. <laughs> I don't I don't like that I don't know what was taken from Chica or who was mm -hmm. Gio talking to. Yeah, well I mean you gotta of I course wanna know. Yeah, but you gotta play the full game to figure it out, right? It mm. gives a taste of all these mysteries. And I think one of the mm. things that I got a taste of this time around was um you know when i chose who to speak to um if i chose somebody different um people were in different spots people you know so the conversation options it seems change as well about what you'll even talk about um and and things like that and so i'm i'm really excited to get my hands on the full game i guess theoretically i could just you know break into our repository and play the whole thing now <laughs> but like let's not um well we've got to have at least some you know surprises for the for the launch streams but all things considered this was a lot of fun i think there's a lot of intriguing characters and that's one of the things that it really shines about inescapable in my opinion is that it is so intensely character driven and whether you like characters or you hate them they're all very very interesting and seeing how things develop and the different intricacies of the relationships that develop while keeping in mind your actions your choices change the game and not just the ending they change the actual game um that i think is one of the things that intrigues me the most um what about you what are you most excited for i really want to see the rest of it story-wise um, yeah character progression yeah, yeah. and mm. i actually i hated dan but i love hating dan I feel wounded because I'm like, Don is my spirit animal. But... Yeah, but I like hating him. Oh. It feels good. Okay. <laughs> I'll bear that in mind. I, uh, he seems, he seems, uh, 
it, you know, there was there's an interesting interaction that we didn't get in this playthrough that we got in one of the other playthroughs, and that was Don getting, I think, a little bit jealous of Harrison. Um, you know, so that's intriguing. You're you're gonna have to play the demo, I think, a couple of times to really suss out all of the different um, interpersonal relationships that happen there, uh, because uh, there is you know an event in this demo that you know we didn't get to. To, we didn't get to experience um, because of the choices that we made, but it ended up with Don, um, you know, and and Mia sharing secrets, and Harrison, uh, you know, kind of intruding on that by accident. And so there's an interesting di dynamic there as well. And then of course, I think as was alluded to by Sasha calling um, Francisca Chica, you didn't see that the you know the relationship building there happen yet that progressed you know simultaneously so i think that was um also uh, a, a really intriguing tidbit that you know might give folks clues to to what's going to happen but that's the demo for inescapable um it has been phenomenal streaming it with you nana you're a, you're a great stream partner uh and i hope you you enjoyed it um yeah if for I those really of you did. watching oh well, I mean, that's good to hear. Uh, for those of you who are watching, please do wishlist Inescapable on Steam. Um, it really, really helps us. Uh, if you wishlist and you follow, um, that you know helps us to, to, to get more people um, to, to see Inescapable. And, of course, if you share it on your favorite social media platforms like Twitter and Reddit and all that good jazz, if you're excited, um, that can also help us as well. Um, we'd love to hear your thoughts um, in the discussions uh, section of our Steam page um and the community hub um so please do you know uh share your thoughts if you have them and um we hope you look forward to inescapable as much as we look forward to um you know bringing it to you and uh i think the full game is going to be quite exciting because there's a lot more um under the hood here than than perhaps what uh, folks have seen um so thank you for tuning in and um eventually i'm going to loop this video so uh, if you have not caught this, uh, you know, the beginning of the stream, then uh, it will start just about now. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Nana. And...